Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and we are here with the twenty sixth day of a quality blessing, where Supreme Father is teaching us a method of being detached while doing your activity, while doing your karma, and at the same time being attached to Him. Means using His power, using His qualities to do your work over here, and being detached from any expectations from the work which we did. How do we do that? What is the benefit of that? We are going to explore it in this blessing right now. So the heading goes like this: Supreme Godfather says, "May you finish any royal form of the consciousness of mind." There is a royal form of consciousness of mind. Some people might say, "Well, I have done this work. It's my idea, right?" And then if their ideas are not accepted, they might just go their way. The royal form would be like I have done this idea, my work, it's my way. I better get a result. I better get something in return for what I have done for my efforts. So that can happen even in your family, amongst family members. It can happen in your business place. It can happen in your office also. So how do you make sure that this kind of chaos never comes about? First, from our end, forget about others. From our end, how do we take care of when it comes from others' end? That's what God will explore in the coming days. But right now, it should not happen from our side. So Baba says, "May you finish any royal form of the consciousness of mind by having an attitude of unlimited disinterest and become detached and loving." So disinterest doesn't mean that you're bored. Disinterest. Doesn't mean that you don't feel like doing it, but you have to do it by force. Disinterest means that I have got no interest in any kind of accolades, any form of appreciation, any form of any form of people mentioning my name for what I have done, for the way I have taken out time, effort, whether it's. Money, whether it's physical effort, whether it's time or anything, so I have got no interest in that because I am receiving everything from the supreme being. So He is making me do it. I am doing it, and He loves me for it. I don't need anybody else's love over here. I don't need anybody else's love. Doesn't mean that we are an ego, or we are we don't care about you. That's not what it means to be in disinterest. It's one-sided. That means I don't need anything from you, but I'm there to give you love, peace, happiness, comfort, because he's asking me to do it. So let's explore that over here. Baba says, according to the closeness of time, closeness of time means as the end of Kali Yuga is coming closer and closer, you must reveal your attitude of unlimited disinterest in the atmosphere of the present time. That means the more the end time comes closer. the more we should be disinterested in receiving any form of help any form of name or fame any form of accolades any form of appreciation from worldly beings that's what god wants us to do so that we become totally detached when the time for us to go up comes so god then says the meaning of an accurate attitude of disinterest disinterest means to be just as loving as you are detached so you're giving love you're giving cooperation you're helping people out whether it's your family members parents siblings brothers sisters but you're doing it with this interest in terms of getting anything in return getting even a clap for it should be totally of disinterest when we are doing godly service otherwise it will bring sorrow it will bring clashes conflicts whether it's in family amongst family members whether it's in your business whether it's in your job so we can use this in every area of our life so then baba says the meaning of an accurate attitude of disinterest means to be just as loving as you are detached in your relationships and connections those who are loving and detached are humble instruments that means they are loving and detached and connected attached to god father thinking that i'm doing godly work i don't need anything from them i'm receiving everything from him so that is the method of being humble of being presented as humble 
and for others to feel that yes we are humble and then that quality is shown and that quality makes others feel that yes these people are godly people these people make us feel lighter as compared to other people because when some help is taken from somebody you start feeling very heavy why because you are like oh i have taken some help now i have to return something in return i have to give something back and that is a heaviness which one feels but when we serve others with godly guidance and we don't re- want anything in return we are not manipulating the way we take care of somebody the way we give help to somebody because the other person can feel that we want something in return that's why we are helping them up right but when we are clean and clear because we are instruments of god and we are helping somebody they can feel lightness within them so people want to feel that lightness they don't want to feel heavier anymore be it at your home amongst family members be it in your job as a boss being it be it as a business person so then baba says they cannot have an ego of the conscious of consciousness of mine that means my effort i put in so much of effort i put in so much of energy i put in all my money and what did i get in return that's not being an instrument that's not being humble god then says they cannot have an ego of consciousness of mine at present royal forms of the consciousness of mine have increased in what way they would say this is my work that means you want something in return somebody else also comes over and they also have the equal capacity of helping your let's say your family members they take your place and then you start quarreling with them you start fighting with them it's my work i know how to do i know what is best for them and that clash comes but somebody who's an instrument of god would know what is best to do they'll move out from that place they'll be humble enough and not feel bad about it so they would say this is my work this is my place i have received all these facilities according to my fortune so my way the highway my rules will work over here so god says now finish these royal forms of the consciousness of mine don't these things happen even in your family members among your family members my home my rule my way and then everybody else becomes uncomfortable around you god says leave that that's not a sign of peace that's not a sign of humility more about it can be learned at brahma kumari's godly spiritual university of how to bring about peace and humility in your life and how to have relationships which are long lasting be it in your workplace be it in your family be it in your business how to do that you can come and learn at the 7 day course at brahma kumari's and with this om shanti